The Leap Air A920 is another in their series of small excavators and it weighs between 19 and 21 tonnes depending on configuration. As you would expect it comes in a standard Leap Air branded box, it's got a nice photo of the real machine on it but there's no other information. Opening it up the packaging inside is of the foam rubber style that Conrad likes to use and inside we've got the model and a couple of bags. One contains a spare tool and the other contains parts that have to be fitted. There are some small parts to fit and they're all separate in the bag and the first one we'll put on is the aerial that just plugs in at the back of the roof of the cab. And then we've got three different mirrors that we have to find a home for. So the long one presses in on the top of the body and lets the driver see down the side. And there's another mirror that also helps the operator see on his blind side. It's best to make sure that you're not blind if you try and fix this mirror because it's a little bit tricky to find the hole that it presses into. But at least when you find it, it's a good fit and the mirror's not prone to dropping out. The last mirror to attach is the easiest and most obvious and it just clips onto the grab rail on the front of the cab. Looking underneath the transmission is modelled in plastic but it's quite detailed and the tyres have a good tread pattern and are mounted on detailed wheels. There's also a metal dozing blade at one end. The cab is a little bit unusual for Conrad because it's one of their all plastic variety but it looks pretty good with some nice detailing. The metal body is detailed with painted panel handles, there are small warning signs and the grills are formed by graphics. At the back the exhaust pipe doesn't have a hole but the lights are formed with nice plastic lenses. The handrails are brightly chromed metal but the mirrors don't have silvered surfaces. There's some good detailing on top and there are soft hydraulic hoses leading to the boom and the very good hydraulics continue with replicated pipes on the boom. The connection rivets are brass and relatively small. The bucket is a decent metal casting with nice teeth and it fits onto a plastic quick connector on the stick. In contrast the grab is entirely plastic but the colour match with the metal parts is very good. It's out onto the cranes etc test track and the A920 rolls nicely. As usual for a Conrad model each of the wheel sets turns independently and they're not fixed to common axles. The rear axle is fixed but there's some nice engineering on the front axle which has a good degree of oscillation and it steers to a good angle as well. So you can pose it in interesting ways and it'll also push along in a nice curve. This version of the machine isn't configured with stabilizers but there is a blade on one end and it can be raised and lowered for dozing or to provide stability during digging. If you're the kind of person that likes going in circles then the A920 is good because it rotates very well. It's now time to try out the digging function and this model has a two piece boom and that gives it a very flexible range of movement with the backhoe bucket fitted here. As usual for a Conrad model the functionality is confident and the hydraulic cylinders are nicely stiff so that they'll hold any pose that you want to set. The full range of movement is also modelled and it's good to see that the model can dig below itself. If you think that's easy try reaching way down below your own feet without falling over. As usual with an excavating model like this one option you've got is to pose it on a suitable transport vehicle. This particular model isn't too big so it doesn't need a very large trailer and all that's needed is to set the machine down. Well operator error there from the cranes etc team and I think these guys are asking for a pay rise. Once it's all loaded away it goes. The nicest feature of the model is that it's flexible because you can change the work tools. They are just clips onto the stick so you can pull them off and there's no pins to use. To fit the grab attachment there's a little adapter that has to be clipped on first. It's a plastic piece and it's relatively straightforward to put on. And then you can follow up by adding on the grab. As you can see this just hooks over when our man wakes up and is able to actually put it on. Oh he's done it at last and he wants a pay rise for that. The grab just hangs so it rotates freely and in fact it does that in two directions. And the two halves of the grab also interlock so they open evenly. And full 360 degree rotation of the grab is also possible. One interesting aspect is how the machine travels when it's got the grab attached. And it does this by biting onto a bar that sticks out of the front. And then lowering the boom so it can drive away without the grab swinging. Ok it's time for a quick genuine imitation real life test. And here we're using the grab to load a tipper truck. Of course it would take a month for Sundays to load a tipper truck this way but at least it gives you some precision in the digging. This is another solidly made and robust Liebherr model by Conrad. 
It has a good level of pleasing details and the functionality is good so many interesting poses are possible. If you like this kind of wheel loader then this one is highly recommended. Thank you.